Well, if you're considering getting PPF or paint protection film for your car or not, this video is a must watch for you. And also if you want to know what PPF is all about and why more and more people who love their cars are getting it, this video is a must watch for you too. Just the other day I observed a scratch on the fender. This of course is a plastic fender so if it gets too bad one can easily replace it. And I was just thinking, I said okay that's on the fender, the plastic part. What happens if you get those uh, little scratches on the body of the car? Then does it make sense to do it? Because I mean, yes. at the end of the day the plastic is only that much, right? Self-healing you know, hydrophobic and anti-yellowing. So you're getting all those added benefits. There's a minor swirl mark or a scratch on the car. If okay. it's not too deep, if it doesn't penetrate the film. Okay. If you just park the car in the sun for about 20 to 25 minutes, you know, with the self-healing feature, the scratch will disappear. So this is a metal brush I'm going to hand over to you. Okay. And I want you to scratch the film. You want me to scratch the car? That's correct, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hi folks, welcome to another Jimny vlog. You've probably caught the previous vlogs where we've uh, taken the Jimny on a few drives, most notably the one to Yarkard. Actually, that's the only drive that we've done so far. And uh, I hope you've caught the vlogs. It was quite interesting doing the highways, the twisties on the ghats and on the way back driving on stretches where there are no roads at all. So if you haven't caught the air card drive vlog on the Jimny yet, I'm going to place links in the description below. So today is not a drive vlog but as you would have seen in the title, it's about something even more important. It's about protecting the Jimny. So I love the color of my car. It's a bluish black but one of the things, one of the challenges when it comes to black is to maintain it and keep it clean. So whenever you have dust, it's very easily visible. So for instance, right now I can see like a patina of dust on the right hand of the vehicle. Dust can be easily wiped off, but the challenge is when you start getting those uh, minor scratches. So after some time on most cars, you will find these tiny hairline scratches here and there. Now if the car is light in color, you don't see it, but if it's black, or bluish black or whatever it is, you definitely begin to notice those. So when I picked up the car, people told me that I should get some sort of paint protection for the Jimny. Just the other day, I observed a scratch on the fender. This of course is a plastic fender, so if it gets too bad, one can easily replace it. And I was just thinking, I said, okay, that's on the fender, the plastic part. What happens if you get those uh, little scratches on the body of the car? So therefore, I said, okay, fine. I think I should probably look at getting uh, PPF and I also have a few drives planned, drives through coffee estates, a bit of off-roading etc. The Jimny is going to be hit with some stone chips or perhaps you'll have bushes, the undergrowth that you find in coffee estates brush against the paintwork of the Jimny. So therefore I've decided to get some paint protection done for the Jimny and that's what this vlog is all about. So I've never had PPF on any of my cars before. It is a bit pricey but then when you look at the overall investment that you've already put into the car and then peace of mind etc. You say okay perhaps it's worth that investment. And there may be some who may say you know all this is new things and uh, it wasn't there earlier and I agree to that. But I think also if you look at what's happening on the road today, it's not like what it was earlier, right? The traffic on the road five years ago, ten years ago. These days things are also a lot more crowded on the road. You don't know from where a motorcyclist will come or a two-wheeler will come and, you know, brush against you and go, whatever. So they say it's going to protect against all that. So let's go and find out. So the place that we're going to is called the Gloss Factor. It's here in HSR layout, um, not too far from home here in Koromangla. And I've done a bit of research on these guys. I've also done a visit earlier and I've finally shortlisted them. It's also a process where you leave the car for a couple of days because there are multiple stages. We'll talk about it when we get there. So I'm just hoping, keeping my fingers crossed that all goes well during this installation and also after. Hi Prashant, how are you? Hi, good afternoon sir. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much. 
Well, I'm with uh, Prashant, who is basically one of the co-owners of the Gloss Factor. Right. So why should people look at PPF now? Basically to protect their investment. Nowadays, cars are considered as an investment. Okay. And you know, the hassle of getting your car repainted, huh. God forbid somebody scratches your car, it's an unwanted hassle for you, right? So okay. that's the main reason why we promote paint protection films or ceramic coatings to customers. Yeah. yeah. So in fact, when I picked up the chimney and I was doing a few vlogs, so many people reached out and Prashant also reached out. That's correct, yes. Telling me more about the company and the work that they do. So yesterday I dropped in here because I wanted to be sure about where I was going to be handing my car over. So I walked around and then he also had a couple of his cars that he's done. That's correct, yes. PPF4. Yes. Are they still around? Yes, yes. We have the Mahindra car and the E-Class as well. This car is currently wrapped. It's not a PPF. Oh, it's wrapped. It's a wrap. It's basically a sticker that's supplied on the painted surface. The car color is actually silver. All right, and, and that? This car, the original color is gloss black, and we have wrapped it in our glossy premium PPF. Which is the one that you're thinking of doing Putting, the chimney yes, in? Yes, exactly. And it's been two years since we've done this car. It was done after a year of ownership. Oh, okay. Yes. So is it always better to do it when the car is relatively yes, new? Yes, that's what we would normally recommend because, you know, each time you drive on city roads or the highways, uh, you tend to get stone chips. Okay. So, you know, getting rid of a stone chip is a little bit of a tricky task because you need to repaint the entire panel. Okay. So we recommend doing it the day you get the car itself. So, but now I've had my car for a couple of months now. Right. So we do a quick inspection. I'll just take a look at the quality of the paint. Okay. See if there are any stone chips. I'll update you about the same. Judging by the looks of it, it looks pretty well maintained. So okay. yeah, I think we can go ahead and go for the PPF. So what does PPF do? PPF is basically a protective layer between okay. the external environment and your paint. Since uh, you know PPF has features like self-healing, you know hydrophobic and anti-alloying, so you're getting all those added benefits with the film as well. So what is self-healing? Self-healing is basically suppose there's a minor swirl mark or a scratch on the car. Okay. If it's not too deep, if it doesn't penetrate the film, okay. if you just park the car in the sun for about 20 to 25 minutes, you know, with the self-healing feature, the scratch would disappear. Oh, okay. But it shouldn't be a very deep it scratch. It shouldn't be a very deep scratch, yes. That's the underlying point. Then does it make sense to do it? Because I mean, yes. at the end of the day, the plastic is only that much, right? No, so basically the film, huh. uh, it's about 195 uh, micron thickness. When you compare it to a ceramic coating, okay. which is like much thinner, right? The film is very thick. With that thickness, you know, you'll have to put a little bit of effort to, you know, cut through the film. We have three different finishes. We okay. have a glossy finish. We have a stealthy finish wherein the reflections aren't too much compared to the glossy finish. And then we have a, I mean, a deep black, this particular thing was made six months back. Okay. So now we have multiple colors in PPF as well. All right. So you can actually color your car. Yes, in whatever color you want. Huh. So basically you get the advantages of a car wrap huh. with the advantages of PPF. But right? does it have any adverse effect on the paint? For example, God forbid you want to peel off the PPF after five years, six years. I'm giving you a guarantee that while peeling off the PPF, your clear coat, and paint are going to remain intact. So there's going to be no yellowing? No, 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 absolutely not. I've seen some horror videos, and I'm <laughs> yes. sure even you've seen them, <laughs> of some very expensive cars, Correct. where they've actually peeled off the it PPF. It comes off with the paint, right? It comes off yes. with the paint, so that's not going to happen. Yes, no, 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 it's not going to happen. Now we're going to put the car in for a decontamination wash. Okay. Uh, wherein we will pressure wash all the edges and the hinges. Okay. To make sure there's no dirt or grime anywhere on the body. After which, the car comes into our detailing bay okay. wherein we do a three-step paint correction. So okay. once that's complete, our team comes in to dismantle the parts that need to be dismantled like the uh, you know, the door handles, the mirrors, okay. and we'll probably unclip the bumpers as well. Okay. Once that's done, my PPF team comes in and we start applying the PPF on all the painted parts. So well, this is a process that's going to happen over two, two and a half days as we've just learned from Prashant. So we're not going to be hanging around here, but we'll try and come in a couple of times to show you what happens at different stage of this installation process. Well, the car's getting a thorough wash. They want to make sure that they remove all the grime, the dust and all the particles that have stuck to the car before they apply the PPF. Because if you have dust, then the dust is going to be trapped under the film.
Well, I don't know if it's the wash or the lights that we have here in your studio, correct. but my car looks better than uh, I saw it in the uh, Nexa showroom. Oh, <laughs> wonderful! But if you look closely, sir, uh, you will see all the imperfections in the paint. If you take a close look, you can see all the spider webbing, the swirl marks, uh, and the dullness of the paint under these lights. That's part and parcel of owning a car in India. The okay. dust, the you know, the method of washing the car in your apartment or your house. Uh, you know, the circular motion creates swirl marks. Okay. So these swirl marks are usually not visible under natural light. Okay. So what you're seeing over here is bird poop that's eaten through the clear coat of the paint. So that's left a mark. So we're going to try doing our paint correction now okay. and try to get rid of this particular imperfection in the paint. And you can actually feel that. Yes, you can actually feel the imperfections on the clear coat. And you know what, where this would have happened, my car is in the basement usually. But the problem is that when these dealers get the car, they park this car in a stockyard. Exactly. And that's yeah. left exposed to the sun. To the elements. Absolutely. To the elements. Yes. So you've got a lot of dust. You've got, of course, birds flying all over. And I think that's where this would have happened. So basically, we're taking off a thin layer of the clear coat. If you look at the panel now, uh. the imperfections have reduced drastically. Uh. So now we'll run one more fine compound okay. to revive the glossiness of that particular section. So basically, this is what you're going to do for the entire the car. car. Exactly. Yes. So it's obviously also a process that's going to take a few hours. Yes. So I don't think we can wait around for it. So <laughs> when do we come next? You can drop in tomorrow, sir, for the next update. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So we'll be back tomorrow to take a look at how the car has been cleaned. Exactly. Or decontaminated. Or revived. The paint being revived. <laughs> That's a nicer word. <laughs> so we'll return tomorrow and watch how the car has been revived. Hi Prashant, how are you doing? So the car is ready for PPF? Yes, the parts are being dismantled as we speak. Yesterday, since the last time I met you, okay. we have gone through the paint correction. Okay. And we have also dismantled all the parts for the car. In fact, you can see there's no mirror, there's no blinker, there's Correct. no door handle. All the chimney looks a bit uh, naked. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> Bumper hasn't been unclipped because okay. there's a lot of gap for us to play around. So that's absolutely fine. Okay, but you the, know about the fenders? Yes, the fenders, the handles and the uh, indicators as well. So, so basically the PPF will get tucked into this. Yes, exactly. It? it stays on top of this and once we put the parts back, there's no option of it peeling off. All right. So yesterday when you did this paint correction, what all did you spot? So I spotted a couple of uh, you know imperfections in the paint, especially in the front driver side door. You can notice the waviness yes. of the clear coat. So I guess to the naked eye, it's not visible. Not visible, yes. But Absolutely when you visible. place it in a setup like this, That's you correct. will see all those little imperfections. So that the PPF sticks uh, perfectly okay. to the body. Right? right, and sometimes PPF tends to amplify the imperfections in the paint. So that's precisely why we make sure everything is. So you've kind of what smoothened it. Yes, we kind of sanded it down, and then we run the machine on top of that particular section. What's yeah. he doing there? He's basically taking off the door handle. Oh, so okay. To access the door handle, we need to take off the inner door padding. Oh, okay. There's a screw inside that which needs to be removed to access the uh, door handle. So tell me, I mean, with all this happening, I mean, yes. when you put things back, everything will oh, be Oh yes, there. no rattles whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> yes. there won't be any rattles, no, all no, the no. sensors will be fine. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely, yes. I think that's the one thing that uh, I think people worry about when exactly. it's a PPF exactly. for a new car. Yes, absolutely, yes. Uh. Because dismantling a brand new car is a little bit of a you know tricky thing to convince a customer for, right? Uh. Yeah, so I'm giving you a guarantee, everything is up, everything gonna be up to be fine. Yes, absolutely. So everything you've taken out, right? even the fuel tank, even the fuel tank cap, the stepney, the rear wiper. Oh, everything is Every, gone. Everything is gone. Yes. This car is really naked, and even the badging. You've yes, yes, yes. All so, of that. Yes. So we, we basically make a stencil before removing it, so we know what position to stick it back in. Okay, and so, it'll stick, right? Oh yes, absolutely. It won't fall off. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, so what happens next now? So next, I'm going to take the car in for one more quick pressure wash okay. to get rid of all the sediments from yesterday's paint correction. All right. After which, it comes back into this bay for the PPF application.
they said of course they would remove all the extraneous things from the body just so that they could do the PPF work but I was not mentally prepared for it to see the car like this. My only uh, concern now is uh, that it all comes together in the manner that it should. Munjadara. Oh, that uh, yesterday's mark I can't see here. Yeah? It's completely gone, sir. We had to sand down that particular panel okay. and then we refurbish the paint with the machine. Alright, so yesterday we saw a bit of a blotch here because of some burnt poop and that's completely disappeared. I think that's where the paint correction really helps. Absolutely, yes. So you're basically trying to restore the car to Showroom. How it's supposed to come back from the factory? From the factory, not the yeah, showroom. Not from the, the showroom. From That's the factory. Right. <laughs> yes. I think there's a huge gap between the time that the car rolls out of the factory. Exactly. Gets transported. Stockyard. Stockyard, and then the showroom. Yeah. And my suggestion is always take a look at your car in the stockyard, even before it hits the dealer. Absolutely. Because yes. that's really where you understand what's happening with the car, what's happened with the car in transit, and also for that long time, days and weeks that it's spent in the stockyard. So this is the PPF? Yes sir, this is the PPF that ah. manufactured in South Korea. Okay. It's a TPU material. So this is, is the material? Yes, this is what's going to go on the body. So this is how much? 190 microns? 195 microns approximately. So this is what goes on to the car? Exactly. So now he's taken measurements of the bonnet. Ah. So that's the first panel we're going to PPF right now. So what's happening now? So now what we're doing is we're applying the soapy solution on the body. Okay. And then we'll just clean it once again before we start the application. And the main point of applying the soapy solution is because, you know, the PPF can move on the body. It gives it a very slippery texture, right? Okay. So till you get the final position, you can keep moving the PPF freely. So the piece has gone on to it? Yes. So now they're using the squeegee and taking out the soapy solution from, from behind the PPF. Okay. So that now the PPF bonds to the paint. Oh, okay. And does yeah. that take time? The bonding uh, ideally would take about six to seven hours. Six to seven yes, hours? Yes, yes. So till then you cannot touch the car? Yeah, I mean ideally we wouldn't recommend doing any pressure washing or touching or cleaning of the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tell me, God forbid something goes wrong. Yes. So what, can you just peel off the PPF? Absolutely, yeah, we can. You can? Yes, we can. At any point? Any point of time. And then you just have to replace that particular this, panel? This particular panel needs to be replaced. So let's say if you do that two years down the line, you replace mm -hmm. a panel. Right. Will there be a difference in finish between the replaced panel and the other older panels? No. That's precisely why I'm giving you the warranty for the anti-yellowing, right? Ah. It's because normally plastic tends to turn yellow with okay. age, with heat okay. and with exposure to the elements. But we are giving you a 10 years warranty for that particular product. So you, it will look as good as new. All right. Is holding a blade to the car. Yes, I mean, uh, there's a fair bit of distance between the body panel and the blade. Okay. So the main reason we do this is so we can tuck in the film into the, you know, panel. So tell me, you cannot do these things pre-cut on a machine or something? We can like do that? it pre-cut, but it tends to peel off much easier. Okay. And you know, the film ends on the edge. We won't have the scope of tucking it, uh, the film. So when you tuck the, it in, it kind of stays? Exactly, yes. You've got this extra exactly. half an inch or a quarter of an inch. Yes, that's correct. So that's going to fold into the bonnet. Ah, okay. So what is this? So this is the isopropyl alcohol, okay. which usually, you know, kind of bonds the film to the body. So that kind of activates the glue? Exactly, yes. Alright, so that's what he's spraying. Exactly, on the edges, because the edges are the most important parts of the PPF, right? Well, 
Well, that's just the first panel of the PPF that's been uh, fitted onto the car. So the team's going to work well into the evening and the night to ensure that the car is ready for delivery tomorrow. And that's when we're going to return to hopefully find the Jimny put together and also gleaming and shining like never before and most importantly, protected. Today is day three and the car seems to be finally ready. Hi guys. Hi sir, good evening. Good Welcome evening. back. Welcome back to the Gloss Factor. Thank you very much. Speaking of the Gloss Factor, the car looks completely glossed out. Absolutely. That's uh, <laughs> Hi Arun, how are you doing? Good sir, good sir. Uh, good to finally meet you. Yeah. So Arun is your partner? That is correct, yes. Fantastic. Yes. So you guys are the partners in crime yes. here at the Gloss Factor. <laughs> so to speak, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, this is uh, looking much, much better than the car that I picked up at the Nexa showroom. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. And I love what you've done here. The chrome delete, right? That's right. I just love this. You know, there was this grill here and I just felt that it had too much chrome. So I asked Prashant <laughs> if he could do something about it. He said, I'll do a chrome delete for you. I didn't know what that meant, but he seemed to know what he was talking about. <laughs> And well, this certainly looks fantastic. I like the fact that you've taken all that bling out of it. The car's ready? Yes, it's ready for delivery, sir. Okay. You can do a quick walk around and, you know, all see right. the kind of work we've done. So our PPF is all tucked into the panels. Okay. So you don't see any exposed edges anywhere. So, you know, peeling off is not going to be an issue, right? And also, of course, the glossiness has been enhanced for the PPF, as you can see. So okay. there are these little specks that I see here, right? Yes, those are all watermarks. We ideally would call you back after two weeks for a maintenance visit. So after two weeks, I'm going to be yes, back? Yes, exactly. Okay. And then, you know, ideally it would take about two weeks for the PPF to completely cure and stick to the paint. To bond to the paint. Exactly. Yeah. So that's precisely why we call you for a two-week maintenance. And that's part of your standard process. Yes. Fantastic. But overall, you know, the car is looking really nice and uh, glossy. So there are some swirl marks here. Okay. The swirl marks will get self-healed. Okay. Under the sun itself will get self-healed. So this is a metal brush I'm going to hand over to you. Okay. And I want you to scratch the film. You want me to scratch the car? That's correct, yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I can't do more than this. You know, I'm planning to drive into some coffee estates. Right. So if I've got some uh, shrubs that Go brush against, against the, the body. Car. Yes. So those sort of marks will get healed. Absolutely. As long as the film is not punctured in any sort of way, okay. those scratches will disappear on its own. We have a customer who takes it to his coffee estate. So one of his panel, due to an accident, he had to take off the PPF. Okay. And the other panels had PPF. Okay. The panel without PPF had some few scratches on it. Oh. So he, he thought he'll do it later. The very next minute he got the scratches, he came to us. Yes, put PPF for the, that panel as well. I'm going to showcase the hydrophobic properties of the film. Okay. So basically the water beading. So if, suppose it rains, you know, the water's not going to leave any residue on the body. This is going to roll down. You can see the beading, right? Uh, it just becomes okay. small, minute bubbles and it just rolls down. No streaks being left anywhere. So you can see the water streaks, right? So this is basically plastic which doesn't have any PPF film oh, on it. Okay. As opposed to the PPF film. So you've tucked it in here? Yes, exactly. As you can see over here, all ah. along, you can see the edges, right? It's all ah. tucked in. So it's all tucked in. So yes. from the inside, it won't peel out? No, 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 no. This is your 10-year uh, warranty card. Okay. With your roll ID your details, your car registration number. So what does this warranty cover? So it covers any manufacturing defect for the roll. Suppose your roll gets yellow prematurely, that's covered under warranty. Okay. And any manufacturing defects. So is there like a maintenance that happens on this? Yes, the first maintenance is after two weeks. After two weeks. And then every year, when you you have to come here for a maintenance and we'll give you a complimentary you know, ceramic top coat as well. Yeah. So that the hydrophobic is maintained. Fantastic. So now is there a ceramic top coat on this? Yes, it's already there on the film. It's going to last you easily a year. Really? So that's precisely why we call you every year for the top coat as well. So this is not just the PPF, but this also has a ceramic top, top coat, coat on it. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. That's precisely why you saw the water beading. Well, the one thing that people are going to want to know yes. is how much does it cost? Million dollar question. <laughs> it's, a mil it's not a million dollars, thankfully. <laughs> but sometimes it feels like it's close to a million dollars. Yes. So the price that they've quoted for the Jimny is roughly around a lakh. Of course, we've got a very special deal here with uh, Prashant, Abel and Arun. 
and uh, they've told me not to disclose that deal to anybody else. But uh, typically, a car like this costs about a lakh. For a small size car, uh, it's about one ten is what we charge huh. for customer. Uh, for a sedan, we charge around roughly around one twenty to one thirty, depending on the sedan. And for a SUV, it is around one forty. And of course, I've done my research, and you know, I've seen different levels of quotes when it comes to PPF. So there are two types of film which is running in the market. One huh. is a TPH material. Okay. And the other is a TPU material. Okay. So TPU material has got all the properties what we have disclosed to you. Thermoplastic polyurethane. TPH is basically like a lamination. Okay. All right. So that's basically much cheaper than TPU. Okay. And I mean, most customers opt for that because, because of the price point. Yeah. But you don't get all the self-healing, the anti-yellowing, the hydrophobia. You get, you get none of those features. All right. So what would a TPH cost? I'm guessing about. I mean, for a car this size, about 50. 50 yeah. So out here, it's a TPU. TPU. Yeah. That's why we showed you about the self-healing, the hydrophobic properties, and everything. All right. So that cannot happen in a TPH. Not a TPH. All right. And I guess that's the reason why you're able to back it with a 10-year gap. 10-year warranty. Absolutely. Warranty yes. on the yes. product. So well, if you want the gloss factor to look at your car and protect it with their high quality PPF. I'm going to leave their numbers behind. Give them a call and I'm sure they'll help you out with a great deal. Right? Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you once again, guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you so thank much. Thank you sir. very much, Prashant. And Hello. thank you, Abel. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, as I'm driving out of the Gloss Factor, I just want to address one last thing as to who should get PPF pain protection film. It is not a small investment. After all, it is a substantial investment. So my philosophy is very simple. If you're doing something, get good quality. If not, don't. So is PPF really worth it? Is it worth spending that much amount of money? I think it really depends on the kind of person that you are and what you want to do with your car. So I was very clear that I want to do a fair bit of off-roading with the Jimny. I want to go into some of these coffee estates, hit the trails, etc. And it's quite possible that in the course of doing this, whether it's stone chips or whether it's uh, bushes that brush against the car, I thought the car would get a bit scratched. So I wanted a bit of that peace of mind, which PPF allows one. My thinking on this is that if the car is very expensive, if something goes wrong with the car, then the replacement or let's say replacement of a panel or let's say repainting a particular door or maybe a side of the car, etc. That will also become very expensive. So I think if the car is expensive, I think PPF definitely comes more and more into the picture. If the value of the car isn't much, if uh, something were to get scratched and if you have to repaint it and if the cost of that repainting isn't really all that much, then I guess, you know, you need to decide whether you really need to get PPF or not. So that's it about PPF or paint protection film. I hope this video has helped you make an informed choice. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, happy motoring.